Hi guys, it's Wade McMaster here. Today I've got a video for you. I'm gonna show you how to get an email newsletter set up on your website using ConvertKit. Now the reason I recommend ConvertKit is because it has these awesome automation sequences that allow you to customize what emails are sent on an automatic basis depending on the user's behavior and preferences. And uh, it's a really powerful way to take advantage of visitors on your website, turning what could just be one visit into multiple visits because instead of bouncing, people are signing up for your newsletter. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually show you first, I'm gonna sign up for ConvertKit and show you how to get started. And we're gonna get it installed onto your website so you can start collecting those emails. So let's jump on the computer and uh, let's get started. Okay guys, so we're just on the ConvertKit website and um, in order to get started, uh, obviously you have to go to their website. Now, the link I'm gonna give you here quickly just so you can get started if you wanna start right now, is actually an affiliate link I used to earn a commission from, but um, either way, this is top software and definitely the best out there. If you just head to willbuildyourblog.com slash convertkit, that's up on the screen now, or um, there's a link in the description below. Uh, once again, there's an affiliate link. I do earn a commission if you decide to go ahead and buy. But I'm gonna run through and get you started here. And the good thing is if you try it and you're not happy with it, you can try it for free. You actually don't have to, uh, it, you can actually set everything up without giving out any credit card details or anything like that. You can try it out and if you don't like it, just simply back away and you won't get charged any money. So we're on the website right now, we're gonna sign up. So I'm gonna hit this button here, try it for free. And we get a 14 day trial. So obviously it's pretty straightforward. You know, you can say you're migrating from another provider or say you're brand new, you simply go through this wizard, click the options that are best for you. Do you have a website? Yes. Uh, if you have a website with something, WordPress, we're using mostly WordPress here. I'm going to click WordPress. And then we're just going to give, in, uh, give them our details. So I'm going to type in this uh, temporary address I set up for the video. Create a password of some sort. And get started. Okay, so once you've signed up, you land in your account here, so you pretty much get started straight away. As you can see, you've got a few options down the right here, but before we get into that, one thing you should really do is get your details set up because when you start an email newsletter, you actually need to make sure you have accurate details so people can contact you. So if you head up the top right here, go to account settings, you can basically fill out your details, company name, so you give yourself a name, email, change the password, uh, you can change what days you want to send your emails from, uh, your street address, you definitely want to add that in there. So if I put in, this is a fake address because I'm not actually going to be emailing anyone. So you can actually uh, add a subscribe. And you can actually go through and set everything up. Obviously, you can set up billing if you are definitely going to go ahead and buy. Otherwise, I'd leave that until your trial runs out to make sure you're happy. And you can also have a team on here. So going through here and just going through all of your settings will allow you to set everything up the way it should be set up. So that way you're legally, uh, you're legally correct and your profile is set up so that way you're not technically breaking the law. Because without having an actual actual contact details on your emails, you are technically breaking the law like the, and you are spamming people, so to speak. All right, so in order to get set up, we're gonna go back to our uh, home. So we're gonna click here on the little ConvertKit logo, top left. And you see we've got our little control panel here. It shows us uh, basically how many subscribers we've received over a period of time. We also have our uh, automations. Uh, there's a nice intro video showing you how to use those. I am going to go through that in the next video in this series, along with uh, sequences, that sort of thing. So that way, you know, you can set up automated email sequences and that sort of thing. But we're going to focus now to get started on forms. So I'm going here to the forms tab so that I can choose a form to get started with. And once again, you do get a nice instructional video, but we're just going to go ahead and get into it. We're going to go up the top and click new form. And there's a few things you can do. You can actually create a full landing page for you and you can actually even if you use the convert kit plugin on WordPress have that landing page on your website so that way you can get a full setup and go from there that's something I'm going to do in another video for now I'm going to focus on getting this a simple form on say the sidebar on my website or anywhere else I wish to put it so I'm going to click on form and you see we have an inline form which will just show up as code we can have a modal which pops up on the screen or we have a slide in and like I said, we are going to explore these here in other videos, 
But for now, I'm going to focus on the inline just so we can get started. Pop something in our sidebar or even on a page uh, and go from there. So I'm going to click inline. And now we have a few other options. So one we have is we can have this newsletter option here. It has an image at the top, email underneath, a simple form with a sign up there. Or we can just have join our newsletter. There's a few different layouts you can choose from. For this video, because we're going to be looking at popping something on our sidebar, I'm going to start with this one here. Put the picture at the top. And you can see we've got a bit of a base start. Now I've got a bit of an issue here with my fonts, but that is actually something to do with my uh, computer, my browser. It's got nothing to do with ConvertKit itself. So if I take this, I've got a few different options here. I can italicize, I can underline, that sort of thing. I can change the font color. I can make it red, black, whatever, depending on what stands out best against the background picture. And I can change the font. Um, I can even change what it says, I believe, just by highlighting it. Maybe if you're offering, offering a free opt-in, you can go get your free download. Whatever message you want on there, quite easy to do. And you can go through and just set up things the way you want. You can add a link, that sort of thing. So it's pretty straightforward. You just get started, start typing. We'll send you your download. And you've got all these options. You can even add another field in here. So we've got a custom field. So we make make it first name. You can move it. You can even add more custom fields if you want. The subscribe button. We can even change that. Sign up. That sort of thing. So you've got all these options here to customize all the text of the form and get it looking the way you want. Now, all your options here are down the right. I'm going to zoom in a bit. I can simply go through, you've got a success message saying, you know, check your email to confirm your subscription. We can send an incentive email and edit that, edit the email contents. So that way, this email will be sent to people once they sign up. So you can go in here and edit this. This, If you want to, you can place a link in here. Um, if you wanted to have, this, have the free uh, download here before they confirm, probably not a great idea. It's always good to confirm first, so I'll close that. And after confirming, you can see here, you can turn off the incentive email or you can actually redirect them to a page of the download or click download here and choose a file and upload a file like a PDF or something from there. So that's how you can have a download available to people when they opt in and it's easy to set up and go from there. Or you can send them to your URL. It's completely up to you the way you set it up. But that shows you just how easy it is to set up a free opt-in with your email and uh, get things started. So that's one of the reasons I like ConvertKit also is it's really simple to get things like this set up. And then of course, we can go through and change more bits and pieces. For example, we have our background color here. We can change that to a blue, a black, that sort of thing. If we can change that color. Maybe I want to make it more of a, a gray, sort of bluish gray. We can actually change the background color to black if we want to. Um, I'm not really too fussed on that being black. I'll keep it white. Now, the border radius is actually little curls at the bottom here. So if I make this larger, I can actually have a really curved edge on my form around the outside. And I can even have this background opacity here stronger or lighter. So if I want it to be a stronger image, I can really pump that up. Now here is where we change the background image. So maybe I pick this picture here. Not that this is a very enticing picture, but it just shows you how easy it is once I upload it. You can see we've got our picture in the background. So we've basically created our form more or less. And we can go through and set up some other settings such as if someone's already a subscriber, you can hide the form or show custom content. So it pops, pops something in there like some text or code. You can have an invisible recapture, so that way you're not going to get spam signups. Although if you do have a confirmation email being sent out, that's a, that's going to sort of take care of a lot, a lot of that. But at the same time, if you want to be absolutely certain, you can tick that. And you can send a subscriber to a thank you page. So that way uh, they are being sent to somewhere after they've signed up. So they've filled out the form sort of thing. So you've got a few options there to get started. But that's pretty much how you can create the form. I save that. I can now embed that on my website. So I can click preview to check it out first. 
And once again, this is basically what we've got. I then go to embed, and here's my code. It's that simple. Okay, so you have a few options. You can actually go into your HTML here and copy a full HTML. You can create a page that you simply share it to. If you have the WordPress plugin, you can use a short code. So there's a few options to choose from. I'm going to go with this simple JavaScript option here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to click over to my website. I'm going to put this on. So I've got a, a little blog page here with a sidebar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to this sidebar. So I'm going to up top to appearance widgets. I'm going to open that in a new tab. And you see we've got our little widget area here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the custom HTML, drag it to the top, paste my code, and save. Now if I switch back and refresh, you see that our form has loaded and now people can sign up. So that's how you can get started by putting that onto your sidebar. And you can simply do the same with a page. So if I want to add it to this blog post, I can go in here, let's say I want to add it above this heading here, I can go to edit post. I could scroll down just above here, add a block, I might call it a custom HTML block, paste my code, and then update. Now if I view that post, You see, I now have the form on my page. So that's how easy it is to get started so people can sign up and start receiving emails from you. Now, there's also a ConvertKit plugin, but I am going to go through that in another video for you so that way uh, we can give it a bit more attention. This is really just to show you how quickly and easily you can get started. So the last thing we're going to do is switch back to the ConvertKit, and I'm going to send my first email out to my subscribers. And I don't have any subscribers at the moment, but um, this will still work basically the same because you don't need to do anything for your subscribers. They will simply uh, sign up themselves or you can add them manually, uh, which is pretty straightforward. So if I head to subscribers, I can add subscribers here manually if you've got people you know you want to sign up that are actually yeah, opting in. So by going to broadcast at the top here, I can create a new broadcast, which is an email I'll send out to my subscribers. So I click on new broadcast. This broadcast will be from the email address. Now you notice here it says unconfirmed. So what you need to do when you sign up, ConvertKit will send you an email confirmation. So if I open up my email, you'll see there's a confirm, there's a confirm email right here. I'm going to click verify my email, and I'm now confirmed. And now I'm back here, so I'm going to refresh. So you can see now I'm confirmed. You do need to confirm your email to use ConvertKit. So that's just another step. It's very easy. Just clicking the link gets you there. And once again, we get this nice little wizard. So yes, the email is coming from me. I want to send it to all subscribers, or I can actually add a filter to pick certain subscribers. Maybe they've got certain tags. Maybe they signed up after a certain date, something like that. You can actually filter out your subscribers. But for now, we're sending an email out to everyone. So I'm going to make sure that's selected and click next step. And I'm going to say news or whatever my subject is. Maybe it's uh, something helpful like how to grow your own vegetables. Whatever it is. I don't know. It depends on what we're talking about here. Now, to send out the email, one thing I will show you quickly, which is pretty handy. If someone signs up and gives you their first name, you can create this subscriber's name with fallback. So it'll say hello and then the person's name. So if they put Dave in there, hello, Dave. If they have no name, it'll say just hello. Then you say here's how to grow your vegetables or whatever your email is. Obviously, you want it to be a bit longer than this. You add your link in here. Sign out. And that's our email. So now all I need to do, I can save that as I go. I can actually choose an email template like classic or they have something like that. I prefer just the straight text. It tends to convert better. So uh, we can preview that if we want in our browser or we can send a test email. Um, but otherwise, we're pretty happy with it. So we're going to go next step. And you can see our email here. It has my address down the bottom as per the, the law, which is what we are talking about earlier gives people the option to unsubscribe, another legal uh, requirement. 
and it says here hello my email sign out and you'll see here if you have some some subscribers it'll actually have a number of recipients I can schedule it if I want to instead of sending it immediately so I can change the date but otherwise I'm happy to go send broadcast send and you'll see here the broadcast has been sent obviously it's been sent to no one because I have no subscribers having just started this account but that's how you get started. That is how you can sign up for ConvertKit, get it onto your website, and then you can start sending out emails on a regular basis. So the next video I'm going to look at, which I'm not going to go into it now, but I'll just give you a quick pre preview, is we've got sequences. So when someone signs up, we can send set up certain email sequences. So that way, if they sign up for your email, you can set things up to go off so many days after they sign, and then so many days after each email. And that way you can actually set up a sequence of emails that'll last for a week, months, years, however much work you want to put into it. So that way, if you're not going to be sending out regular updates, but you have a set sort of playlist of emails, you can send them out so that people are always signing up and getting content, whether you're paying attention or not. And then on top of that, under automations, so under automations here, you can see where we set up nice little flows and you can actually change what emails people get based on their behavior. Um, if I open this up very briefly, you can see here, you can see here if we skip in a bit, there's a few steps. I will be going through this myself, but you get this nice visual flow of how things go. So we get one, e one email sequence, another sequence, and depending on how they react, we can go from there. So that's that's pretty much the, that is the real value of ConvertKit is having automated sequences and certain behavioral flows so that people can see exactly what they uh, get receive exactly what they want and you're not seeing them emails they're not interested in. So to, to get that video check out the description below otherwise I am going to pop, pop a video card up at the end of this video so you can keep going and um, yeah, we can go from there. So thanks for watching the video. If you do want to sign up for ConvertKit, once again, don't be afraid to check out my link, which is willbuildyourblog.com slash ConvertKit. That is also below. The link is also below in the description. And have a look for yourself. Sign up for your 14-day trial. Like I said, there's no credit card details down. You can literally sign up, try it out, and just ignore it if you're not happy with it. And uh, go from there. So thanks for watching the video, and I'll talk to you again soon.